You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your fingers and say, that's the bad guy. Hear me clearly. America is not a racist country. I beg your pardon? So many black people there, sorry to say, but like so many black celebrities who have nothing to do with country music and it's like, it's not Wakanda. We are all Americans. Of our That's the first thing that unites us. Nothing else unites us than the American identity. Nigga, please. These are images of Pastor Sherman Nequise in blackface. These were originally posted on social media back in 2017, but have recently resurfaced online. Quote, here's Pastor Sherman in blackface. He pastors at Matoka Baptist Church in Ochaleta, Oklahoma. In a series of photos, Sherman wears dark black makeup, an Afro wig, and bright red lipstick. He has dark sunglasses on, a shiny beige suit, purple shirt while playing a keyboard, smiling and performing for the crowd. Sherman addressed the controversy during his sermon Wednesday, stating that, quote, he had gotten over 20 calls a day. They're blowing this thing up. This picture of me when I played Ray Charles. Sherman states that he received a call from a black pastor in Texas and was then interviewed by a local reporter who Sherman claimed tried to chastise him for previously dressing up in drag despite being critical of the LGBTQ plus community. Quote, when I was a youth pastor, we used to have theme nights. We'd have superhero nights. We had cowboy and Indian nights. I used to dress up like a Native American woman. I had full Indian looking dress on. I had a wig braided. He also stated that the photo was taken of two other congregants dressed up as cowboys, one with his fist up as he was getting ready to fight, and the other with a weapon held up to the Native American. A photo of the pastor on Facebook from 2014 shows the pastor dressed up in stereotypical Native American attire and dark makeup. Quote, that wasn't a drag queen performance. He stated that that was theme night. I was fully clothed and I didn't do anything sexual or lewd. The pastor claimed that he was allowed to dress up in red face because he allegedly has Cherokee blood in him. Quote, last week there was another death threat. He was also stating that it looks like I'm kind of famous. I just want to publicly say that I don't have a racial bone in my body. I'm not a racist at all. It's a sad day we live in. I love Ray Charles music. How can you portray Ray Charles if you're not a black man? But plenty of social media users were not buying this excuse, with many plastering the church's Facebook page with the pastor's blackface images and with negative comments. Quote, how can a pastor lead a church when he doesn't respect all of God's people? God makes no mistakes and he made black people beautiful. So why would a man of God mock them? He gives a bad name to real Christians. Another one racist bigots you wouldn't know jesus if he walked through your door on his personal facebook page the pastor has shared an image comparing former president barack obama to monkeys he also mocked muslims comparing those who wear burqas to trash bags in the pastor's pastoral profile on the makota baptist church website he vows the congregation quote will strive for unity while walking in love. Now, I just want to note for people who might not understand what took place, he defended one while not exactly <laughs> defending the other, right? He stated that, yeah, you know, I was in, I dressed up as a Native American because I quote unquote have Cherokee in my blood. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows that. I, I'm more than likely more Native American than he is, realistically, just, just to be honest. <laughs> like I've seen pictures of my great grandmother in full on Native American attire in picture. So for me, I'm looking at this as, you know, just that five dollar Indian type of deal where they just signed, you know, the uh what was it, the dolls rolls. Uh some 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 of you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Way back in the day, you used to have Europeans, they would sign 
uh, document where they would pay a couple of dollars just to say that they are Native American so that they can, you know, get some free things out of the government. Like I said, uh, Europeans did a lot of things in order to get ahead of everybody else in order to live the way that they are allowed to live. But Again, a lot of people don't want to happen to go over or talk about those things when it is that we talk about the development, the creation, uh, the hostile uh, takeover, right, of the United States, of North America from the indigenous people that were originally here and that have always been here, a.k.a. as Christopher Columbus stated, I founded America. He didn't find nothing. <laughs> you can't find or Columbus anything. You know, you can't claim something that people are already living on and taught you how to survive and thrive. And then you later wanted to, uh, quote unquote, erase them. Uh, and you wanted to masquerade that under the fact that you wanted to consider them savages to to give you a justification and reasoning as to why it is that you were able to commit such atrocities against those people. But anyways, beyond that. Um, so he, he wanted to body block for one thing. But the other thing, he, he didn't try to say that he was black. He didn't try to say that he was black as anywhere in his butt that he has black friends anything like that he didn't even try to do any of that he was like well you know how can you portray a black man when you're not black well i guess you don't how about that one let's let's try that one out <laughs> let's try that you got all you got willie nelson you 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 got uh jet clampett you got all of these guys that you can masquerade as thor you you, you can go with the the vikings all of this you, you can do so many things but you decide that, hey, well, you know, I like Ray Charles music. In order for me to be Ray Charles, I got to do blackface, got to put red lips on, and uh, I got to, you know, put on the afro. What? That 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 looks nothing like Ray Charles. That looks nothing like Ray Charles. And then you're going to say that you don't have a racial bone in your body. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> this is why... Y'all see me so many times and I do these videos and I keep telling y'all this is why, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm not really with the whole like church thing. Like I said, you know, if people have beliefs, that's cool. You know, you need beliefs out here in order to survive and strive and, and whatnot or whatever. It's cool. I understand it. But I'm not going to, in a sense, believe in somebody like this who on one angle say that everybody's God's children. We must love everybody we, you know, we must fight for everybody and support everybody and then turn around at church like, hey, well, let's dress up night, guys. Let's uh, act the way that we always wanted to act. Let's let's try to be the people that we've always wanted to be. Right. And he decides to do blackface. And then, you know, I always have people on this channel always trying to tell me that, oh, you know, everything isn't about race and all this other type of stuff. And then when you catch them on that, they want to turn around, but oh, what about the, uh, the 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 white chicks movie? What about what the Wayans did? Isn't that white face? There's no such thing. There's never in the history of man been a such thing as white face. White face, for all intents and purposes, is like a mountain somewhere, or a hill, or or some area in the United States of America. White face is not a thing. Those two guys were FBI agents who had to masquerade as the uh, Hilton sisters for all intents and purposes in order to catch these guys, uh, you know, who were working in order to do a variety of things within that rich area. That's what that was. That that was literally the whole thing of that movie. So, no, white face is not a thing. Using that for an excuse is not going to do anything. Um, some people might try to bring up Dave Chappelle. Uh, Dave Chappelle did it in comedy and he also did it as the fact of you can almost say that he was an albino news reporter. Albinos are black people that just lack pigmentation. For all intents and purposes, that was Dave Chappelle. There are black guys out here who are passable as white, who have hair just like normal white guys. But I guess people forgot about that and they don't want to dive into that topic or that conversation. So, again, crossing both of those things directly out of the area, you don't got nothing. Not at any point in time in history have white people ever been hurt or harmed, right, by seeing these things taking place. They've been laughing. They've bought tickets to the movies. 
they've watched the Chappelle show like I said it's not a thing <laughs> at the end of the day it's not a thing it's not a thing it never was a thing but historically blackface has always been a thing and I've done quite a few videos covering blackface talking about blackface on top of the fact showing a multitude of either videos or images of both of true Americans Caucasians Europeans pagans deciding that they want to um, go with the trend of doing blackface don't matter if it was snapchat ig twitter youtube wherever they decided to do it and they wanted to post the pictures this guy's trying to act like trudeau out here trudeau he he wanted to you know do some blackface as well and um you know nothing pretty much happened to him he still has a job crazy so now we got a, a pastor <laughs> quote unquote a man of god doing blackface trying to impersonate and mock and make fun of one of god's children how godly is that i'm just wondering i wonder if people still actually donate to this church if you do just note that you're donating to racism that's you're donating and supporting racism that's all i'm saying <laughs> that's all i'm saying but like i said before you know what kudos to that pastor for not sitting up there bending a knee because we know at the end of the day he's quote unquote a man of God and he's also racist at the same time gotcha gotcha